This used to be the time of year when the whole village drew together in a common effort to bring the harvest home. Now, the machines do it all. The Thanksgiving ritual remains. In the September evening, the choir practices for the harvest festival. Most of the traditional patterns of life exist now only in the memories of the old. But up on the village recreation ground, the young have started something which has caught the imagination of the village. Oh, what's this coming now? Yes, that's Mr. Morphy from Yoxford. Very good driver indeed. About the rest, he'd had several spills, but he's still going strong. One of our first vehicles, that was. Uh, this is Mr. Winkert from Paisnall Garage. He was a big help with his breakdown truck, time cars in, as you can see, his time one in now. I think that's about the third trip tonight. Of course, that's, that's men like Mr. Winkert and one or two more with these breakdown trucks and lorries that help us along. Well, it started about 12 weeks ago with just two cars going around on the track the first night. About 12 people watching, and we wondered if that would really take on. Then after about three or four weeks, I got the 20 stock cars and about 100 people watching, and now I've got to about 54 stock cars and anything up to 1,000, perhaps more people watching every week now. Very popular. But that, I don't think there's many villages around here what do anything like this. I think that's a good idea. With all, all track officials and everybody, that's all voluntary work. The boys race for fun. They're not on the track to knock anybody else off at all. They're just there for the pure fun of it. Six race, we've cut your interval a little bit short. We have the cars out on the course, and they are the Red Tops, Eric driving 484, Tony driving 103. The cars on the course for the start of race number six. We're ready then to start race number six. The green flag is up and the cars are... This weekly meeting brings the whole village together. They compete, organize it, and watch it. years in Peasen Hall have seen hardship and change. War, depression and new methods have left their mark. But again and again the village adapts, renews itself and lives on. I was, I was happy and comfortable enough. I never had much trouble. I never really had no trouble during my married life. Well, because my husband was ill several times. But I was all right. I'd go through it all again and all right. I wouldn't mind. If that bring my husband back.
Give me 20 minutes. Thanks to an Essex woman. 400 goats and their kids enjoying the afternoon sunshine at the farm that Ian and Anne...